Hey guys, so this is a post on Reddit, a banning a customer because you, local GameStar, mispriced a card. Uh, it is found on Twitter. So this guy posted a store card sh shop in Twitter. I'm stressed the funk out. One of our associates sold a $1,700 card to a customer for $185 the other day. I sent a message to the customer Let's see if we can figure out who um, is this. So a $1,700 card to a customer for $185 the other day. I sent a message to the customer and await their response. The longer I wait, the more I realize that this guy has one chance to do this in the right way or they face a permanent ban. I ha hate having to deal with things this way. Now Reddit, as usual, is anti-local game stores. And they think that, hey, this game store is... They're going to basically burn this game store. They're going to set it on fire. So this game store, I can tell you one thing that you can never say is the customer is wrong. The customer is not wrong. And if you sold it to them for $185... And they knew. So obviously with a big doubter like this, the commentator, the customer absolutely knows. There's no question in my mind the uh, person knows that the card is not a $1,700 or $187 card. It's almost a 10% drop, right? It's 10% of actually the card. There, there's no way the customer does not realize they're getting a steal of a deal. Especially when you talk about cards of that value, a $1,700 card in today's marketplace means it's like a Liliana, like all art, Japanese. Uh, and, and again, Reddit is going to take the opinions of the customers because for the large majority of them are customers. There's going to be far more customers than store owners. Um, I don't get uh, why he has to post this. I think you just send the email in private. And just hope for the best. Let me explain like how devastating this is. This is profit. So this is profit, by the way. So when somebody buys a seventeen hundred dollar card, let's say that you paid sixty percent on that, you paid a thousand dollars, which is amazing, right? You paid over a thousand. Um, that's actually great margins, right? Sixty percent is probably better margins on that type of card. It, on that type of card, we're talking about something quite valuable here. $1,700, I mean, there's not that many cards at that value point, in, um, at that point. But assuming they bought it for $1,200, trying to make $500 a good profit margin on it, then they sold it for $185, they're out $1,000. So let's assume that they're losing $1,000 on this card. They could be losing much more. They could be losing less. It kind of depends on when they got the card. But in today's marketplace, they probably paid more. That is the profit margin of most local game stores for a whole month, if they have a profit margin at all. Uh, people don't understand, you know, and honestly, I think the game stores should just, it's hard to survive, but it's also um, difficult to imagine this scenario. And, it's the store owner obviously being upset um, and saying one of our associates, right? That associate will probably be fired. Like people don't understand like a thousand dollar mistake. We're not in like a car dealership where it's acceptable. Where it's, it's like, okay, fine. You made a mistake. You sold it a little too cheap. Fine. Uh, it's a big ticket item. You sold a $1,700 card for $185. Um, Yikes, man. I mean, yikes. Um, and there, there is might be some question of, is that your friend? Is that collusion? Like, how how is that happening? Um, like, how is this happening? How can you uh, do that? I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's just savage, my, my dudes. It's so savage uh and i think about it from the game store owner perspective yeah i've taken losses before uh yes they have been ugly losses yes 
Um, you know, we've sold things way too cheap. Every game store has mispriced something. But for a uh, associate to misprice something of this caliber is uh, truly, truly fascinating. Uh, it's something where, you know, again, it's tough, tough, tough to imagine this happening in my store. Again, I, I don't have associate. And this is, again, why you don't trust these associates to deal with these higher end cards. And you don't give them power for them to do this. This is a lot of money to a game store, guys. Because it's not um, revenue. Revenue, everyone thinks, revenue. oh, just sell more cards. To sell, okay, let's say you buy booster boxes at $93 a box. And you're hoping to sell them at $100. That's $7 profit. And you're not paying. You still have to pay their employees, the lights, the rent, uh, overhead expenses. I mean, for you to break even on a one thousand dollar loss, cash loss, profit loss, is like you selling close to two hundred boxes after your employees and stuff get paid. <laughs> that is sick. Now, should this guy go publicly and say we're going to ban the dude? No. I mean, it's every Magic player. It's fair game. I call it fair game. Um, I'm just bringing attention to the fact that $1,000 for your local Magic store, as you can imagine, is a lot of money for most smaller Magic stores. And I do not think um, that many stores could recover from something. It sounds silly, but um, the owner obviously is upset. The owner obviously is not in a, uh, a good mood. And he's posting about it online to complain and vent about it. And he's hoping that people... Um, he's hoping that people will say, you know what? Uh, good on you. Good on you. But he's not going to return. The customer will absolutely not return this card. He got away with it. He knew he got away with it. In today's economy, why not? I mean, it's it's a huge problem. You could buy list the card probably for twelve hundred or more, right? A seventeen hundred dollar card is pro a very desirable card, I assume. You can buy list it for twelve hundred dollars. He made a thousand dollars. Why should he bring it back? Um, and this is what local game stores, again, these associates are just so terrible. I've had a bad associate cost me upwards of $2,000. And, uh, you know, I have, you hire the wrong people, they can cost you far more than $1,000. I can assure you that. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye, guys.